Hi y'all, Karma here. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. So excited to have you on our holistic healing channel where we do all kinds of natural healing topics like herbs, crystals, crystal grids, meditation, sound, all kinds of things uh, to help us to learn and grow and uh, be better people. If you're returning, Welcome back, welcome back. I always have fun spending my time with you and hopefully you can tell that it's getting easier to be behind the camera now that I know some of you out there and I feel like I'm actually talking to you like we're hanging out. Before when I didn't really know anybody and I only had a few subscribers, it was a little bit harder to talk into the video. It's really hard to have bright lights staring at you and um, talk like you're enjoying your time and you're looking into a box staring at yourself. <laughs> I don't feel that way anymore. I feel like you guys are all out there and that we're hanging out together now. So today we're going to be opening Wolf and Time, the Luna Lux box. I've wanted to get this box for quite a while and I did end up getting it and then I had that, oh my gosh, why am I getting so many boxes? So um, I did order the Luna Lux box for this time to open for you. And uh, then they came out with a new box that's a men's um, every other month box. And I decided to get that because I thought that'd be really fun. I do a lot of hunting, fishing, you know, those kinds of things. So it'd be interesting to see what's in that box and how they curate that for a man. And my husband's excited because he'll get the items. But I did go ahead and order the Luna box, the medium tier though, not the Luna Lux like I'm getting here today. But this is the Luna Lux box. I've seen other people open it, and it's always been something that I've been interested in. A little bit about it. It's $78 a month, so it's a pretty expensive box. But again, they do have three tiers. So um, the middle tier is like most of the subscription boxes where they run right around, well, I guess it's $50 for the Luna box. Um, and then the Wolf and Time box, which is their lowest level box, is $28. So the Wolf and Time $28 is three to five items. The Luna box is six to eight items. And then the Luna Lux box is $78 and it's 10 to 12 items for Holistic Beauty. So uh, I don't have any reviews since this is the first month that I'm getting the box. So let's get right into it. See what we got. I do kind of, you know, I like the boxes that I can reuse. So this one isn't going to be that reusable, but it's okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we open the box. Got some card stuff and a letter on the front that I'll get to in a second. Pretty little sticker. Ding. Ooh. I am excited for this box. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. So it's hard to decide what boxes that I'm going to keep and that I'm going to get rid of. Um, I'll just play it by ear, keep kind of going, see what we like, what we're having fun with. All right. So on the front, this is actually the box that I just got. That's their men's box, the Bone and Steel. And um, it does have 15% off your first box. So if you do decide to go and get Bone and Steel, use Steel 15 FB for 15% off your box. And it's five to seven items, Northern Viking Celtic. Since we do the medieval recreation, when I saw that on there, I'm like, oh, I gotta get that box. Cause if it's like a really cool Celtic knot work something, or I'm gonna adore it and love it. It says men's quarterly self-care magic and tools. And it comes out March, June, September, and December. And March is the first month for it. So if you wanna get the first box ever, for bone and steel. I know I don't have that many guys on my channel. I think we have, I don't know, less than 10% are guys, but I'm loving this even though I'm a girl and it's meant for men. So we'll see how it goes, but we'll get that next month and be able to see it. <gasps> Ooh, that's one thing I love when I've watched these boxes open. Their artwork is gorgeous. Look at that wolf. <gasps> So pretty. And I have a girlfriend who wolves are really her thing. So 
Uh, it says the wolf pack, connected to nature in tune with the moon, nurturing mind, body, and soul. Um, Eco-conscious, herbal and holistic, spiritual, grounded and magical, supporting artisans and creators, vegan, salon, hair, and skin care. And it says, thank you. Pass it on 15% off your first, uh, your first box. And there is an FT Wolf 15. And um, I am working on uh, getting an affiliate link for you guys so that you get a discount from me. So that will be in the description below if you if I've gotten one yet. If not, certainly use that FT Wolf 15. Um, if they're both 15% off and you could use my code, I'd really appreciate it. I don't really get anything from most of the codes that I have. They're not affiliate codes where like they pay me money or anything, but they start to see how many people have been referred and then that helps me to be able to have them, you know, maybe eventually send me free boxes or products or that kind of thing. So first we have our lovely little letter and it's on gorgeous paper. I love this kind of paper. Of course, being in the group that does the Middle Ages, we make a lot of our own paper and stuff and this looks like beautiful handcrafted paper. It says Wolf and Time Lunalux Box and it looks like it has the items that are on it. Welcome to your February Lunalux Box from Wolf and Time. The theme for this month is empowerment. We're sending you treasures that create a mystical, empowering journey of self-care wisdom, ancient magic, and confident energy. Pulling from ancient practices from old cultures, this box will help you seek the alchemy for balance and nurture your mind and soul. I'm super excited. I'm not going to look at this stuff right now because I'm going to read it as we get to the items. Oh, I guess I didn't really show you kind of how I showed you the beginning where it has the stuff up there and then boop, there's the rest. Okay, so I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay. All right, so it starts out here. Oh, that's beautiful. So pretty. Now this may be, I think they send you like a card every time. Oh, do you like my black from the other box? So I think that they send a card in each box. So it says, letting go, allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. Allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. Oh, that's beautiful. I really like that. So let me check really quick. Okay. Um, magical spell, oracle card, and affirmation print. You have been given an intuitively drawn oracle card from the magical spell deck. It has vintage illustration reminding us that spells have been working for a very long time, a smart spell on it, and some intentional energy for your meditation. The included affirmation card was hand printed by Kat Grady to give you empowerment on your path and a cosmic light to bring into your day. Place them on your altar, in your grimoire, your journal, or on your sacred meditation area to bring some ancient source magic. Your life is yours. Your path is yours. No one can take it from you. You create who you are. Only you. Have no fear. You are magic. Really pretty. And I like these because even if I'm not going to hang them in the house, because, you know, getting one every month would probably, but that's a beautiful postcard to send to someone, and especially with COVID where we need to reach out to people. You know, everyone's stuck in their home alone, and we might not even know, you know, if someone's really struggling. So while you're doing your meditations, take time to maybe get inspiration to the people that you need to reach out with. There's just so much suicide and stuff going on right now. So we want to reach out to people. Next. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love their art. That was one of the things that I was excited to get. And this one is beautiful. Dragon. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. 
so much detail. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. So pretty. Wow. Of course, I love dragons, so, you know, kind of my thing. So let's see what it says. Original artwork, 8x10 watercolor print, The Loon Aloft. Light and Fire is an original watercolor painting by Kat Grady of a Japanese-style dragon flying in its ancient land, connecting to its magic within, and empowering you with this ancient aura. The dragon is a shaman power animal, helps you with letting go and pushing on into the realm of possibility, dispelling your fears so you can journey forward, and embracing your greatness so you can also walk in confidence. Call on dragon for both harmony and healing, understanding the five elements for optimal balance and to support you in a shift for a healthier lifestyle. Energy center is the crown, mineral, purple fluorite, element fire, Japanese symbols for strength, courage, and magic. And then it has a place where you can see the original piece online if you want to. Yay! Oh, that's so pretty. No, don't stick. No! No! Oh, I'm so dumb. It's stuck on there and there's no way I could have got it off without tearing it. Oh, I'm so... Don't do that. Oh my gosh. I ruined it. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Oh, and that was totally my fault, too. Ugh. Ding, ding, karma. Oh, well. Let's see what else we have. So, I see a tea here. Kyoto Cherry Rose Tea, The Secret Garden. Green tea, rose petals, and natural flavors. And it does say that it ca contains caffeine and that there's 10 servings. Very nice. Lots of yummy herbs in there. And then look how cute. On the back, they've got a little sticker, and then you've got the little tea bags on there. Now, these are loose leaf teas, and that's all I drink, so I have like cups with tea. They have cups that they have the strainers right in it, or you can get the little tea balls. If you don't have those, they do provide you two bags. Um, if you have the tea balls, you can use these tea bags to put herbs in for your bath or for a foot bath or anything like that so that they won't get all over your tub and in your drain. So don't throw it away if you're not going to use it. Um, keep it for something like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and smell this, because I am going to drink it. So, let's see here. Sorry, we got neighbors yelling outside. Don't know if you can hear it, but please forgive. Oh, yum. Oh. Oh, that smells heavenly. You can smell the cherry and the rose in there. Oh, I'm going to make some of that tonight. I've got a, yes, I'm a gamer girl. Of all the natural and everything else I do, I also play World of Warcraft. Yes, I play a hunter named Nymphna. And when I raid tonight, I'll be drinking this tea. Drinking this tea. Yum, 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 yum. Let's see what it has to say about it. Here we go. Organic Loose Leaf Tea Secret Garden. This month's tea selection is Green Tea Heart Opening Blend called Kyoto Cherry Rose. That's really good because remember I've been doing a lot of heart stuff, especially with the harmony at home. I've been struggling a little bit as a step parent and not being able to connect with a teenage stepdaughter, kind of really struggling. She really just doesn't like me at all and no matter what I do, it makes it worse. So I'm really struggling to try and keep my heart open and um, be in a place where when there might be a sweet moment here and there that I'm in a good place for it and not just got that wall up to her. So heart stuff, great for me, and I will drink this tea to help me with that process. 
Um, this delicious tea is cheerful and sweet, evoking the sense of spring in blossom and cherry and stimulating effects of green tea. Brewed best in the included tea bag or loose leaf teapot. Let sit for five to seven minutes before pouring, handcrafted with intentional energy. Just so you know, with teas, I, I know a lot of people may not know this, but there are actually different temperatures, and a lot of the tea like this, like if you just have a regular teapot and just boil the water to the hottest, it's actually not the best setting for teas like this. Um, it's a lower setting, I want to say it's like 212, I don't know, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have a teapot that will go to different settings, and it goes to the main setting for flower teas and herbal teas and then you can keep it warm right at that temperature too. So when you put it with that temperature and you let it sit for five to seven minutes it will really process and give the best taste for that tea. If your tea water is too hot or you steep it too long it can actually bring out some of the bitterness in some of the herbs that you are using. So let's see what's next. WM, Dr. Botanicals. I seem to get tons of Dr. Botanical stuff in gift boxes. They must like specialize in contacting. They have a whole department to do that or something. Kind of sticky on the back, like they took a sticker off of it. It's really sticky on the back. Yeah, but it looks just like a sticker that they've torn off. Don't know why. You can kind of see, maybe. Nope, you're not gonna be able to see it, but right across here, it's got a whole sticky piece where, see, they've taken off a label there. So that's kind of, I mean, I'm glad they took the label off because you wouldn't be able to read the ingredients and stuff, but don't know why it would have been there in the first place. But this is WM Watermelon Superfood 2-in-1 Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Watermelon, yum. And cleanser, always good. Let me open it up. Whoa! Okay. I opened it up. And it's spooged out the side. So it is full, which is good. Oh. That smells so good. Mmm. Oh, okay. I'm excited to try that. Of course, it is a very small bottle of it, so I certainly wouldn't call it. It's more of a sample size. Let's see what it says. F18, hair mask and Dr. Botanicals watermelon face wash. Hair mask. Maybe there's a hair mask in there too. Because I noticed down here on the magical spell oracle card and affirmation print. So you've got the oracle card and then the affirmation print that I ruined. Ugh, can't believe I did that. Can't believe I did that. So disappointed in myself. Um, it says you have two self-care treatments to amplify your routine and empower the start of your day. The formula um, F8, T8, I can't really read that. Hair mask is plant-based, cruelty-free, and color safe. It's to repair, condition, revive, and nourish ends of your magical locks. The watermelon face wash by Dr. Botanicals is vegan and uses all natural ingredients to help take... Um, off the daily grime makeup or start your morning fresh. So let me see if I can find the mask. So that's the hair mask. So they just got the description of the two together. Ah, oh, that smells yummy too. And it's a nice thick hair mask, so that should be nice. It is, again, a smaller size, like this will do my hair once, but when I had long hair, since my hair is so thick and everything, and I had hair down past my butt, yeah, this wouldn't, this might have done my ends. Um, my hair takes in so much oil and so much stuff because otherwise it's frizzy and dry and <laughs> everywhere. So uh, I put in the argon oil and put in oils in it and everything to hopefully keep the frizzies down. But that's going to be great to use. So two little products there. What else? What else? It's still smack full. Oh, pretty. It's got the hand with an eye. Wow. Okay. I'm guessing this is probably a candle. Look at that. But the artwork is beautiful. That's one thing they do so well on this box. 
There's the hand again. So let's see, what is it? You can open it. Yep. Oh, sandalwood rose candle. Oh, yum. Oh, that smells so good, y'all. Oh, that's going to be amazing. And again, the rose and the sandalwood, perfect for what I'm working on right now with the heart and trying to stay. And with the eye, uh, the hand on it with the eye, that's perfect because that's for protection too. Because when you're in a situation where you're struggling um, in a relationship and that kind of thing, it's really easy to put up barriers and, and walls because you're being hurt over and over again. And so to have that eye in there and that hand for protection so that you can try and keep those walls down and try and deal with some of that hurt that happens without putting up the walls and making it to where you're not going to be able to have, um, you know, any improvement in the relationship. So, uh, yay! I love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's see here. Meditation candle. This candle is made from soy wax and essential oils. You will have one of six different styles and scents. Lemon, verbena, and mandarin. Wood say, oh, sorry. Lemon, ver, verbe, verbena, and mandarin. Wood sage, lemon, and ginger drizzle cake. Sandalwood rose. Um, Sipomenthe or twilight lavender. Ooh. I would have liked some of those other ones, too. I'm happy with the one I got, though. The sandalwood rose is perfect for me. But those are such good candles. I may end up trying to go and buy um, some of the other ones. It says, light it during meditation for your own sacred practice to bring magical energy from your guides to help empower your messages and guide you. What do we have next? This is so exciting. This box is amazing. Now, it's $80, so... It should be amazing, but it's really amazing, even for $80. So we've got this little box. <gasps> Ooh, oh, look how pretty that's packaged. It's got like little moss in the bottom. <gasps> look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. It's a bookmark, I'm guessing. Oh, that moss. I'm sorry. That is so pretty. I will put that in my plants. That is so pretty. Oh, what a nice touch. So pretty. I'm guessing it's a bookmark. It's got a crystal on it. And look at that gorgeous leaf. Look at that. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's got a little key on it. Look at this little key. And the crystal. That is so pretty. Let's see what it has to say about it. Bookmark charm. This handmade bookmark has been infused with the energy of empowerment and knowledge. It is crafted with faux leather cord and carries three charms that are all completely unique just for you. The key is for you to open the doors and seek truth and gain wisdom. The crystal is for the element needed to enhance that wisdom and the charm from nature is to connect you to the source to attain what you need to learn. So the key to unlock the knowledge. Every time you place it in a book, this piece will help remind you of these important things. Being that I'm studying for my natural path, yay, I have a magic bookmark. Whoop, how does that fall over? <laughs> I have a magic bookmark, y'all. Yay. Oh, that is so pretty. Pull out this little bag. In there. Okay, so then it's got this pretty sachet bag in there with something in there. Maybe it's a lip gloss. It's got gems in there. No, it just needs to be. Okay, so it's separated with the gold and the. So let's open it up. It looks like a lip gloss. And it's got like the gold in it and stuff, but it's all separated. So let me see if I can mix it up in there. Hmm. Let's see. Can I stir it up? It's 
still kind of just see the glove staying at the bottom. I'm going to have to work with that. Oh, it smells. It's got like a peppermint, so it must be like a lip gloss. I'll have to work, though, to get that color to go down into the liquid. <laughs> Empowerment Lip Oil. This oil is a blend of fractional coconut oil, vitamin E oil, peppermint oil, almond, vanilla, and mica natural ingredients. So that's the mica in there. So it may take a little bit to get it stirred in. It's been infused with energy of love, light, and power to speak your truth. We hope that when you put it on, it not only helps moisturize your lips, but reminds you to let authentic self be free. Shake bottle and pump lip wand before use. With all natural products, please do a patch test for allergies first. So I'm not going to put it on because I already have my lipstick on and stuff. Now I can't even get it open because the oil. There. Um, so it's saying like to pump it up and down, but the thing doesn't go that far down. So even pumping it up and down isn't really getting that stuff in there very good. So I'll have to work with that. You see, it does it can does have a really big um, peppermint smell. So it's probably going to act almost like a like a limp plumper, but it's just more of a clear. Doesn't really have uh, much color to it. All right, next. Oh, this is, let's see. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, a beautiful tower. I don't know what this is. That is so pretty. Look at that. Especially like, look right there. Especially right there, I love that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Wow, let's see what that is. So it says premium Afghan Jade Tower. So Jade, it's more of that yellow Jade. Jade is one of my favorite things. I wear Jade all the time. My son gets me Jade. And um, I love jade. So let's see. Afghan jade or Afghanistan jade is made up of peridot and prox, prox, pyrozenite. Zentite. Pyrozenite. I've never heard of that, have you? And comes from the he, uh, Helmand province of Afghanistan. It comes in several layers and looks like a light creamy sage with copper colored streaks through it or white lines. It helps open your crown chakra and connects you with mother earth and air elements. It helps you open pathways in meditation, enhances your spiritual exploration, reveal uh, retrieval of wisdom, clears all chakras while stimulating your crown and helps you to tap into your psychic abilities. It also balances your mental and emotional needs while assisting you with healing energy towards any problem areas, which is why I wear it all the time. Very beautiful. Oh, I don't have one like that, so that's really cool. Okay, let's see. This looks like our little um, spell bag. They, I think they usually do like a little spell thing. And inside, we have, oh, look how pretty empowerment salts. And look how gorgeous. Oh, oh my gosh. So pretty. wonder if that's for a bath. And it does have a seal over it, which is nice, especially with these little lids because they tend to pop off. Oh my gosh, y'all, that smells so good. Oh. It definitely has essential oils in it as well as the herbs in there. Oh, that is so pretty. So Ah, oh, I appreciate it so much. Oh, little rosebud in there. <laughs> okay, then it has, this looks like copper. So it's a good chunk of copper. Really pretty. And I don't have any copper, actually. Copper's good for 
all kinds of things. Arthritis and stuff too. And then it has the little scroll in here to tell you what to do, I think. So it says empowerment bath ritual, bath salts and copper nugget. Place the native copper nugget next to you on the ledge of your shower or bathtub as your bath boiler fills or your shower heats. Pour the salts, herbs, and flowers into the bag, water, or bag and use your energy to fill the tub or your shower with comfort as you pour. Add any other crystals, oils, incense, smudging, or candles you prefer and get into the water when you're ready. As you meditate, focus on the copper and its electric, al electric alchemy. Connect you and, re and repeat this mantra to yourself. I empower myself with confidence. I empower myself with love. I empower myself with greatness. So it is below and above. Then let out all of your negative energy, your anxiety, your doubt into the water. Create a protective orb of golden light around you and push positive energy up from your toes through your body all the way up into your crown. Let the light soar through you, empowering your soul. Contact your spirit guides to protect you and relax in the healing water. Oh, let me read just a little bit about the Empowerment Bath Ritual Kilt, Salt, Scroll, and Copper Nugget. This kit has all the tools you need for the included bath and empowerment ritual. The salts are Epsom and sea salt with wild orange and patchouli essential oils, rosebuds, peony buds, and thyme. These ingredients are handcrafted and infused with energy that was made under the full, the wolf full moon. Included in the organza bag with your jar is a native copper nugget. Use this in the ritual that is included in the scroll that is also included in the bag. If you want to take a shower instead or you want to keep the herbs intact, simply pour the salts into the blue bag. Um, everything came in and tie it up snugly. Yeah. I guess... These have dyes on them and stuff, so I would not put my herbs in this and put it in a bath. I would actually use, you know, more of the tea bags or something you can get like that. Um, I'm afraid that the blue would come off in the water. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Have you guys used these bags to put herbs in and do baths in? It just seems like, you know, they're um, plasticky and dyed, and so I would rather use like a muslin bag or something like that. Uh, the native copper nugget, this completely natural copper nugget of copper has healing properties that help um, that, that help both your root and sacral chakras. It creates a harmony between the physical and sacral and astral bodies and aligns you to communicate to source. It enhances your energy alchemy and helps combat lethargy, restlessness, and non-acceptance of oneself. It stimulates intuitive optimism, diplomacy, and independence, boosting your empowerment. I may start carrying that around here. And the last but not least thing, ooh, look how pretty. Let's see what it is. So is that, looks like a tiger? What do you think? I think it's a tiger. It's wood. Isn't that gorgeous? So this part is actually wood. Then it just has one paper backing it so that the blue shows through. And then it's a journal with all blank pages. In the middle it has some darker pages. So see, it kind of has lighter than darker than lighter, which is kind of nice because sometimes I like to, you know, put like herbs on the front and the oils in the back or that kind of thing. And then look at the binding. That is so cool. Being in the Middle Ages uh, recreation group and stuff, I just, you know, bindings and I mean, this is like, you know, sewn in, you can see that it's got the old binding which makes it so much more magical. And then the back is a wood as well. So just a gorgeous little journal. That is so pretty. Let's see what it says about it. Hard wooden power animal journal. You will have one of four power animals in the series carved in wood on the front of your handmade journal. Inside there's blank paper and craft paper for mixed media writing uh, stickers, affirmations, or whatever your empowering rituals call you to do. So there's the peacock, the tiger, the turtle, and snake, and the dragon. So it was a tiger. <gasps> what do you think of this box, guys? Let's review really quick what we got. We got the carved wooden power animal journal. 
Um, we got the F-18 hair mask and the Dr. Botanicals watermelon face wash. We got the bookmark charm with that gorgeous feather. Oh, so pretty. And the crystal and key. The Empire Empowerment Lip Oil, the Magical Spell Oracle Card, and the Affirmation Print that I ruined. I can't believe I did that. Oh, I will learn. Lesson learned. The Meditation Candle, which was so yummy. The Organic Loose Leaf Tea. The Empowerment Bath Ritual Kit with Salt, Scroll, and Copper Nugget. The Original eight, Artwork 8x10 Watercolor Print of that Gorgeous dragon. The premium Afghan Jade Tower, which was amazing. And I love Jade so, so much. So for the box this month, and this is the only time that I'll get the Luna Lux, the big $78 a month box. It was well worth it. This box was amazing. Two thumbs up. I can't wait to utilize, and literally, again, a box where I will use almost everything in it. Thanks for spending this time with me and opening this amazing box. Do you like the Luna Lux box? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to come back, hang out with us, learn with us, help each other to become better people and to build this beautiful holistic healing community then you can come back often to the channel where you can say, Karma's my friend. Bye, y'all.